cancer is a very uh, mysterious disease in the world today you know all medical science all uh, alternative medicines everybody is trying to find a cure for cancer but when we look at the disease from ayurvedic perspective we try to understand what is the cause of disease if you look at cancer it is generally understood or described as a multiplication of cells in a abnormal way normally cells grow in our body but that is called normal cell multiplication but when these cells start to multiply abnormally so they grow in large numbers creating a tumor which is called malignant tumors and this cells then move into other part of the body and cause secondary tumors there which is called metastasis understanding this disease from ayurvedic perspective in ayurveda we always try to understand which dosha is out of balance so cancer is considered to be a tridoshic disease that means all three dosha vata pitta kapha are involved in this disease dhatus primarily rakta dhatu is primarily involved but also rasa dhatu rakta dhatu both of these are primarily involved in carrying the uh, the cells which are infected or which are like abnormal and they carry it from one place to another then if we talk in terms of more subtle uh, reasons according to ayurveda we can say a person having low quantity of prana low quantity of tejas low quantity of ojas is more susceptible to have cancer the modern science which is doing lot of research they have found out different causes sometimes they mention that it's a faulty dna which causes the cancer cells there is some uh, fault in the genes and those faulty genes are actually responsible for abnormal growth of these cells but why these cells i mean why these genes have become faulty why the dna has become felt faulty it's still a mystery nobody knows in ayurvedic terms if we talk of toxins if we talk of chemicals if we talk of you know toxins not only at physical level toxins which we call ama ama in the body ama in the mind we can try to make a connection but the problem is that if cancer is not detected at an early stage it's very difficult to treat even from ayurvedic perspective most people when they come to know about cancer it is already in an advanced stage but even in that advanced stage the ayurvedic approach toward cancer is two folded one is called shodhana we try to do the srota shuddhi to cleanse the channels and second is increasing the ojas which is enhancing the immunity of the person because if the shodhana causes the cleansing cleansing of toxins or ama or all those factors which are responsible for blocking the srotas then at the same times we need to increase the ojas which is the immunity immunity which is not only at the physical level but also works at the mental level and subtle level of a person so when a cancer patient comes to us that is how we approach it it's not easy and i cannot really claim that we have a cure for cancer that will be a too big claim because we all know that cancer cells grow very fast but one thing that we try to always do is how we can limit the growth of these cancer cells in my experience i have also found that acidic foods are responsible for quick growth of cancer cells so we should switch on to alkaline diets you can always find a list of alkaline diets and be on alkaline diet no acidic foods try to do some detoxification cleansing and at the same time nourish your dhatus increase your immunity nourish your ojas in ayurveda there are many medicines which can work on cleansing as well as nourishing and that's how we work with cancer uh, there is not really a very deep uh, description about cancer specifically but there are various terms found in the ancient ancient textbooks like granthi arbuda apachi gandamala all these things can be uh, initial stages of cancer which uh, if not treated properly it can convert into a malignant tumor uh, but specifically there is also a word mentioned karkata arbud means an arbud or a tumor which grows like a scorpion i mean different directions you know it uh, increases very fast and grows very fast 
but uh, still I feel that a lot of work needs to be done and my personal experience is that whenever we deal with a cancer patient we do not just deal with one system. Sometimes we need to use uh, modern medicine also to suppress some of the symptoms. Sometimes we need some naturopathy or even if some other cleansing methods even some meditation, yoga, breathing everything should be combinedly used because our sole goal should be how we can reduce the fast growing cancer cells, how we can suppress their growth and at the same time how we can increase the immunity of the person so that the person can overtake the immunity can overtake the growing cells. If the growing cells are more powerful then immunity goes down and that is how the person is not able to survive. So, this is what I, I have to say about cancer. It is a very uh, dangerous disease which is growing like an epidemic disease in the world today and if we want to prevent it we should always look into our daily life, lifestyle, eating, food, meditation, yoga or I can just simply say in one line everybody should practice Jivananda which helps us to clean our body, clean the senses, relax the mind and also helps us to realize that I am soul. If you want to know more about Jivananda, you can log on to our website www.jiva.com and download the whole program. Uh, take care of your health and be happy. Thank you. Namaste.